Hey, my name is Shane McMahon. I'm a product specialist over at Asheville Ford. And I'm going to be introducing you to the 2017 Ford Focus ST today. Now, if you notice coming off of the Power Dome hood, you'll come down to the Sport Black Mesh Grille with the lower diffusers and the Sport ST badging across the front, as well as the bezeled fog lamps. And you'll come up to the Lexan plastic headlamps that are filled with the, uh, the Xeon headlights. Now moving around to the side of the vehicle, you'll notice that they do have the 18 inch sport rims on here that come standard on the STs, as well as they're wrapped in Pirellis uh, with the Brembo brakes and the nitrous injected tires, as well as the turn signals integrated into the uh, side mirrors with the integrated blind spot on the mirror as well, as, you, as well as you'll notice the keyless entry on the door handle. Uh, as I press it, it just unlocks. And as you come around to the side of the vehicle, you'll notice the integrated uh, fuel cavity system. Now, we finished around that most of the sides and around the front and the back. Let's go take a look under the hood and see what powers this monster. The motor that powers this monster is powered by a 2-liter EcoBoost motor. It pushes out 252 horsepower and 270 foot-pounds of torque with a top speed of 250 miles per hour and does 0 to 60 in 6.3 seconds. It is a front wheel drive car. You can go get your groceries in it or you can race the guy down the road. Now these machines have became a lot different than the way they used to be. They say anything that's in covered in clear or yellow, feel free to maintain work on yourself. But everything else kind of let's leave to professionals. These uh, motors are uh, fine tuned machines and they're not like they used to be. Now let's go take a look at the inside of the vehicle. So now we're on the inside of the Focus ST. We're going to go over some of the technological features and some of the stuff that comes standard on the vehicle. Now, push button start is one of the things that comes standard on all of the Ford Focus STs. It's located to the right of the steering column. I'm going to push in the brake and the clutch and simple press of the button and it starts the vehicle up. Everything on the dash lights up. Give everything a second. You'll see the Ford emblem come on the display screen as the navigation and Sync 3 powers itself up. The vehicle's in neutral, emergency brake is on. It does have fully automatic lights as well as the fog lights I mentioned before. As well as a voice activated navigation and fully activated Sync 3 system with Sirius satellite radio and a Sony premium sound. Uh, definitely adds a much higher quality sound to the vehicle compared to the normal focus that a typical user would buy. Now you can go through the dual climate control as well and go through the climate on the, uh, with the buttons or on the screen. Actually, I gotta cut that back. And you notice on the gauge cluster of head that you have the old temperature as well as the, uh, the turbo PSI and the old PSI. Um, this, and if you come over to the display screen on the center dash on the clusters, um, you can control that and actually go through your distance to empty your trip timeters and a screen that shows everything as well as your average fuel consumption. And you can control that all with the D-pad on the left of the steering wheel, as well as you have the cruise control horn and your radio volume and Bluetooth capabilities as well as the channel controls. And the winch wiper blades and of course your turn signal and hot beams will be included on that. Now you do have, that's come standard with a 12 volt charging port as well as a USB charger connection that connects to with the Sync 3, as well as the traction control and a six speed manual transmission. Now, one of the things they changed with some of the newer Ford models with the manual transmission, for the reverse gear, you actually will now be pulling up on the knob shifter so you won't be forced to throw it into reverse on accident. You pull up on the slide, push the clutch in, pull it over, and you'll notice it activates the rear view camera and also has the intended trajectory showing where you're going to be going as well as they can zoom in if you're backing up close to something. You have your cup holders, your center arm console. Open this up. Now inside you have another 12 volt charging port as well as a smart charging USB. Uh, the difference of the smart charging USB and the smart, uh, USB you saw just a second ago, it charges at twice the rate, the same output as a 110 house outlet would for your normal chargers. So it's meant to charge a multimedia device. As well as you'll notice the white stitching in the sport seats of the uh, Recaros that come in this vehicle standard. Uh, so if you like that sport feel and it's a hug you and you when you're taking your turns, you're not to really go move anywhere or slide. You're definitely going to love these high-end sport Recaro seating in the SD. 
just wanted to thank you all for tuning in. Um, if you liked the video, you found it informative, please give us a, you know, a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We do have more of the vehicles coming out soon. Uh, and stay tuned. We are going to have a uh, test drive with the Focus ST. So if you had a curiosity about how some of the things worked a little bit more in detail, they will be coming.